All right, I just wanted to do a little update on uh, getting Star Citizen to play well with the Steam overlay. So I made a fancy profile, uses touch menus, everything like that, and then I did a troubleshooting guide on how to get that to work properly. That troubleshooting guide no longer applies because they changed the way the game launches. So in that video, I said, um, you know, add the Star Citizen EXE, which just as a refresher, is in your program files, Robert Space Industries, Star Citizen Live, Bin64, Star Citizen EXE. So you add that into Steam, and then you had to have, well, I'll just show you. In that, the way that method worked <laughs> as of last week was you would have the launcher running in the background and then launch that EXE from steam and you'll see what happens so it starts to load up oh shit you think it's gonna work and then you get couldn't find user information so another way to get it working which i covered this in the other video too the troubleshooting one is that you can add the rsi launcher which i did i did that here it'll work you will get steam controller functionality but you will not be able to access the overlay, which means you will also not be able to use touch menus or on-screen keyboard or get into the configuration to change any of your controls. It just, it, like, it lags out terribly. Like, you can kind of access it and you might think it's working, but it'll delay and you get stuck into the overlay and it, it's not going to work. So don't, don't really do that unless you're stripping down a profile and you're not using any touch menus or anything like that. So I was pretty much ready to just give up and I was just going to make a, a stripped down profile that didn't use any of that. But the skiing Jeep, my, my new hero, he figured out a fix. Which Jeep, like here, like I wasn't sure, like, oh, I don't know. But, you know, once I understood what he was saying, it's like, yeah, you're not... It's just this one file. You're not changing anything. So before I even explain that, let me just uh, just show you. Sorry, watch. This is in Star Citizen Live folder. So we're not going to go through Steam. We're going to launch the game through the launcher. And then down here, boom, that right there, login, data. Okay, and now watch that <laughs> login data. I'm going to quit. Yep. Boom, it just ate it. The launcher is creating that login and then deleting it whenever you quit the game, which that's why I'm, I'm a little hesitant with this method because it's uh, it's probably not going to be a permanent fix. It's just a temporary thing. I'm sure they'll figure out some way to patch that so you can't even do this. But in the meantime... If you just copy that login data, put it back in here. Don't launch the game through the launcher. Just minimize it. And then if I go back to my... The Star Citizen EXE, which is straight to the game EXE, not through the launcher. So I got my the login data JSON. I'm going to load the game straight from the EXE through Steam. And then, boom, I'm in here. I can access the overlay, I can get into my profile, get my touch menu. It's all responding. It's all working. And then also, just as an aside, one thing I did notice is, uh, if the game crashes while you're playing, like whenever you quit, it, you know, alpha is alpha, it'll often crash. That login data will still be in there. Like the first time I tried this, from reading his comment, I was like, oh, well, that's weird. Mine wasn't deleted. It's because the previous time I had played, the game crashed. So that's how you can get the uh, Steam Controller playing nice with uh, Star Citizen 3.0 right now. Just copy that login data, and then, um, you know, maybe, I don't know how often we want to refresh that. 
I'll probably recreate that like once a day or once every play session, you know, every couple days, whatever. But yeah, that's that's what you got to do. So thanks a lot to Skiing Jeep for figuring that out. I don't know if he figured that out himself or he came across it from somewhere else, but great job, man. Kudos to you. It's it's a method that's getting the overlay playing nicely with Star Citizen 3.0. So, all right, that's all I got. I will see you around. <coughs> <coughs> oh, how long was it holding that in?